please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What up, what up, what up, Jupiter? I'm Kirsten. And I'm Ray Ray. And as always, we have your JHS Student News for Tuesday, November 1st, 2022. For the selfie of the day, we have Hayden Siegel and the return of Dax. Hayden is a sophomore and plays football. He also enjoys hanging out with friends, but loves being cooking partners with Dax and Culinary. Dax also wanted to say a special shout out for Ms. DeSena and Ms. Turner. Congratulations, Jupiter Warrior JROTC Raider teams for being regional champions. Great job. The mixed team and the female team placed first place. Interested in leadership opportunities and volunteer hours? Join Chase in a Dream Club. Attend our first meeting this Thursday after school at 2.40 in room 7101. Join the Google Classroom. The future leaders of the United Nations will be having a trail cleanup at Abacoa Community Park on Saturday, November 12th from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. You do not have to be a club member to participate and friends and family are always welcome. Jupiter Writers, if you are looking for an opportunity to improve your creative writing, give and receive feedback, and share your work, then join us in Ms. Stain's Room 5210 this Friday during Lunch B. Inkwell is officially back in action, and this year we are dedicated to making you a better writer and showcasing your talent in the Inkwell magazine. Bring your lunch and a friend. See you there. Congratulations to the JHS cross-country teams that competed Friday at the regional event. The girls team, led by Kate and Alexa Hansen, placed seventh overall quality qualifying them for the state championships. It was a total team effort as all of the girls ran their season personal record times. Wish them luck at state next weekend. For the boys, Theo Endred and Ada Russo were the top finishers and the boys moved up two spots to finish 11th overall. Jupiter Cares. The schools in Jupiter are organizing a relief effort to help schools and families that have been impacted by Hurricane Ian. The attached flyer was created by a new student, Kate, based on the information she received from Fort Myers community. We will be collecting the items on the list this week. Donation boxes are in the front office and the front of school. This Saturday, the band is hosting the Festival of Vans. The band from Fort Myers High School will be attending. It will be wonderful if we can send them home with items that will help them in their community's recovery. Thank you for your support. The Spanish Honor Society will hold a meeting on Thursday, November 3rd in Portable 29 at 245. Or if you are unable to join, please join us via Google Classroom. We'll discuss volunteer opportunities. Muchas gracias. CCJHS, the Young Republicans Club has officially shifted to the Conservative Coalition of Jupiter High School. This club welcomes students of any and all political ide ideologies and promotes discursive com conversations regarding the current political environment both domestically and internationally. This club meets on Fridays at 245 in the Woodshot Room 3102. We also invite you to join our remind to receive notifications and make sure to follow us on Instagram. If you have any questions, feel free to contact Mr. Volk or ask us through mine. Hope to see you there. On Saturday from 8.30 to 12, the Criminal Justice Academy will be hosting a car wash fundraiser in the bus loop at Jupiter High. Proceeds from the event will help fund the Academy. Tickets are on sale for $10 each or you can simply arrive on that day for a car wash. Warriors Against Cancer members will be holding if you haven't already. SGA is having a school supply drive. It is a great opportunity for you to get community service hours and give back to the community. We are looking for supplies such as notebook paper, writing utensils, backpacks, and other useful items. The nation drop-offs will be in room 4106 until Friday, November 11th. JROTC will be conducting a non-perishable food drive. Please bring all your donations to room 4112. Mark your bag with name, student number, and first period teacher. Your community service sheet will be placed in your first period teacher's box. Join the TTFN club aimed at girls in Palm Beach County who are facing clothing insecurity. Empower preteen and teenage girls who need our support and earn rewarding community service hours. Connect with similarly interested JHS students and bolster your college applications. Find out more and enjoy crumble cookies. The first meeting is today in room 4113 during B lunch. Can't make B lunch? Join the Google Classroom. Come by Zona and support your varsity competitive cheerleading team. 
Donut sales are every Wednesday and Friday in the courtyard from 7 a.m. to 7.15 a.m., $2 a donut. Psychology Club. The first meeting will be this Monday, November 7th in Coach U's Portable 9. Officer positions are available, so if you are interested, please come to the meeting during Lunch B. If you're not available, the information will be on the Google Classroom. Congratulations to the Jupiter Community High School Spirit of Jupiter Marching Band for taking first place grand champion across all the bands competing at the Hialeah event held October 29th. This is an amazing accomplishment and a testament to how hard the band has been working. This Friday... This Saturday, come see over 29 bands compete at our own local competition, the Festival of Bands. This is a premier marching band event held here in Jupiter, Florida. Great for the general public, families, kids, all the people. The Spirit of Jupiter Marching Band will be the last band of the evening, best for last. Bands will be performing 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. Come support arts and all these amazing bands. Visit the website to learn more and purchase drop tickets. Drama Club presents the Fall Theatrical Variety Show on Thursday, November 10th at 6 p.m. in the auditorium. Tennis Meeting. Any boys or girls interested in trying out for tennis, there will be a brief meeting right after school tomorrow. We will be discussing the athletic forms, deadline dates, and tryouts. Remember, athletic forms need to be submitted through Activate. Seniors and Juniors Only. Florida Gulf Coast and Rollins College will be here tomorrow, and the Savannah College of Art and Design is coming on November 15th. If you are interested, come to the guidance office to sign up and get your pass. And you've been waiting the birthdays of the day. Happy birthday to Luke Bauer, Isaiah Kaysen, Ranson Godet, Kevin Gorlick, Sean Keelor, Francisco Mateo Gaspar, Michelle Perez, and last but certainly not least, Jerson Roblero Reyes. I hope you all have a very happy birthday. And that is all the news we have for today. Have a great day, Warriors. And stay tuned for your minute of silence.